people like that shouldn't be buried with honors. They're not honorable. Their actions were not honorable, even if, you know, even if they served honorably. One woman's fight to keep someone convicted of child sex crimes from being buried with military honors. As Pilar Pedraza shows us in this Kick News investigates follow up tonight after two years with no answers. That woman is asking for your help. I was 12 and hurt in one way. He touched me places I cannot say. He ruined my childhood. He made me feel dirty, kind of like a slut. And you prayed on us. We first introduced you to Crystal Vansel and Natasha Harper last year, sharing a pain that shaped their lives. Both say this man, former U.S. Navy technician Theodore Phillips, was the man who abused them years ago. A man convicted of sexual misconduct with a child under the age of eight. The same man they had to watch buried with full military honors on television. He wasn't honorable. Why is it okay for a child sex offender, convicted sex offender, to be buried with honors in the VA cemetery? And can he be moved? Those are the questions Crystal has been asking everyone she can think of since the last time we spoke to her. I have contacted Senator Moran's office, Senator Marshall's office, um, Congressman Estes' office, um, Senator Mike Baggs, and um, I, I even called the Pentagon to talk to the Navy. But still, nothing's changed. It's frustrating. I mean, I just, I feel like I'm just being pushed around, thrown around in circles. So she decided to ask for help. I started a petition on change.org, just trying to bring awareness to um, convicted child sex offenders being buried with honors in VA cemeteries and get support behind me because I just feel like I'm by my alone with just Natasha and Nicole and me doing it. I hope people um, speak up and share it and it brings awareness. Among those already supporting her, a Marine veteran who says Phillips sexually abused him when he was just 14 years old and the family of another vet buried next to Phillips. They're sharing it with their whole family and friends. Um, they actually signed the petition. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, on your side.